Hi, I'm Nadeem Akhtar, one of the psychiatrists here at Cohen Behavioral Health, and we have Neil Mashburn, our physician assistant. We're going to talk about an important topic. As we know, the winter is coming, days are getting shorter, there's going to be decreased sunlight. It can affect people in certain ways. Some people can have depression and sadness. So we're going to talk to you, and we're going to take you through winter blues and beyond, and how to and when to get help for it. Now we're going to talk about how to recognize the winter blues or holiday blues. Some of the common things are people may start feeling sad or unhappy for no reason. Some people may actually start overeating and they're spending more time in the kitchen. Some people may sleep less, some people may sleep more. Although the nights are already longer, but they go to bed early, they wake up late. Some people may start complaining of headaches, the irritability, having more arguments with the family members. Some people may start not wanting to go to the gym or cut down on their outdoor activities. People may feel tired and immotivated, exhausted. Some people may start indulgence in more alcohol and drugs and feel more worryful and start having more anxiety symptoms. Here's some tips for coping with the holidays. Number one, set realistic expectations. Make a schedule and stick to it. And in that schedule, be sure to put plenty of downtime for yourself so you can relax and enjoy the holidays. Also, be sure to get plenty of rest, continue to exercise, and try to eat healthy. Take a break from social media. Spend time with your family, engage, turn off that computer, shut off that cell phone, and be involved with the family. Now we're gonna talk about the warning signs of winter blues. It is important to recognize it so that you can get help. Some of the common things that can happen is dysfunction. Dysfunction can be in any way. You can start skipping school, not going to work, calling in sick, amotivated, not able to do the things that you were enjoying before like social activities. Other things to worry about is hopelessness. People start feeling as if there's no light at the end of the tunnel. Crying spells, you're getting more irritable with the family and friends and small things bother you too much. Feeling of guilt, as if you're recalling the past events which are traumatizing. Excessive sleepiness, not taking care of your personal hygiene. The most important thing is some people start losing weight. If the loss in weight is more than 5% or the gain in weight is more than 5%, it's definitely a sign that this is more than winter blues. You may turn into a major depressive disorder and it is time to get help. So when and where to get help? Again, if you have feelings of hopelessness, anxiety and depression that seem particularly intense and don't go away, or if you're having suicidal ideation or a family history of depression or mental illness, you can always talk to your family doctor, or you can call Cone Behavioral Health, Kernersville Med Center. We're here. Thanks for joining us. We hope we've been able to provide you with some helpful information. If you or someone you care about is experiencing depression or the holiday blues, help is available. For more information, go to conehealth.com slash behavioral health.